Hey girls and guys, today we are going to explore look number two for our holiday outfit idea series. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. Now this look is totally outside the box. It is absolutely not the norm and it is not traditional for what you would think of a holiday party look. So if you've been enjoying these videos, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you a part of our sister and brotherhood to join in on the conversation and just hang out. All right, so now let's get to this look because I really cannot wait to show it to you. It's totally me, like it's totally, I would wear this to the grocery store. Okay, so last week you guys saw the beautiful, elegant Jessica gown. It is a gorgeous velvet Bordeaux um, color gown that I featured and we did the faux fur and it's just super glamorous and elegant and just reminds you, uh, takes you to a, almost another time period. Um, because of the shoulder pads, maybe a little 80s mixed with, you know, like the 30s or 40s. Beautiful piece. So if you didn't see that, you might want to click that after you get through watching this one. Today, we are going to do something that is equally as glamorous and beautiful, but it is definitely outside the box and not the usual uh, traditional holiday party garb. You know, the attire is... It's more, I would say, more flexible. So you could wear this year round versus being stuck within a particular holiday season. So that's another reason why I love this particular outfit. Now, y'all know me, I love to be a little extra. And <laughs> this outfit is definitely that. I would totally wear it to the grocery store if I could find a reason to do so. So don't be surprised if y'all see me Snapchatting in this outfit in the grocery store. Um, so since the focal point of this outfit is actually the skirt, we are going to start there with our synopsis. Because of the material, it kind of reflects different hues of pinkish purple, which just kind of give me life. So it's not like a shiny sheen or anything like that, but if the light is bright, it looks more pink. If the light is dim, it looks more purple. So it's very subtle, but just really, really amazing. And the quality of the fabric that's used to make this piece is simply just, I don't know, the it's really amazing. I'm just really shocked that I can even offer this piece at such an affordable price because Honestly, if I saw this in like Nordstrom or somewhere, I would think it would cost like a couple hundred dollars. I'm just being honest, but it's not. This skirt is everything and it's really given me life. And I really wanted to do something different instead of making it to where you have to look like Cinderella to enjoy yourself. Okay, you can be Cinderella and, you know, Kalani at the same time. <laughs> I don't know why Kalani just came to mind, but anyway, that wasn't shade to anybody. I paired it with a white tank top. And why did I do that? Yeah, it's like I told you, it's not in the same um, realm as your typical holiday party attire. Now we could leave it there and maybe do some jewel tones and put like a big gaudy necklace on if that's what you wanna do. But because it is holiday season, you kinda need something on your arm so you can even do a shawl. But I chose to mix it up a bit and to allow my own little personality to shine through. And that's what I mean, it's kinda like Cinderella versus like, you know, mix with a little Kilani or anybody like Urban, okay? And this bomber jacket, this is a Desiree bomber jacket. This is also from houseofhot.com. This is one of my favorite pieces, also by the same manufacturer as this skirt. I absolutely love this particular manufacturer. They are amazing. Their quality is unbeatable, and I just cannot believe that I get you know, the I'm able to get these pieces for such a reasonable price, which allows me to sell them for a very reasonable price. So this bomber is a floral print. Now, if you're close to me, y'all know I'm not a big fan of floral, but this particular floral print is done right. It's very feminine, it's not over the top, it doesn't look like somebody you know, grandma threw up on it. It's just very elegant, it's nice. The size of the tulips on this jacket are absolutely um, perfect. It's not too big, not too small, and it's just good. Like this magenta that's in the bomber actually perfectly matches the skirt. Now, even though they're from the same manufacturer, these two pieces were not at all designed to, um, to, to be paired together. So I had so much fun making these two go together. I absolutely love this look. Now with this little bomber, you can put it on your shoulders and just kind of let it drape you, or you can actually put it on like I have it in this video. And I like to scrunch the sleeves. Y'all know I'm a sleeve scruncher. I am a habitual, 
um, violator of that. If you think that's a violation, I will forever be. So <laughs> um, that's what I love about this, this little jacket though, because I love to be able to scrunch it up. It just gives me an extra pop of um, style and ownership. <laughs> um, okay, so as far as the footwear, this is another reason why I love this outfit. We all know when you go to these party, the holiday functions and stuff, there's not oftentimes a place to sit. Sometimes it's a sit down dinner, great, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just kind of standing around and mingling and talking to folks and whatnot. And we all know if you're wearing a pair of any shoe from, from Jessica Simpson to So Case by Louboutin, it doesn't matter. Your feet start to hurt at some point. So. What I love about the skirt, because it is floor length, you could actually rock a pair of flats, like some really snazzy, cute little flats would actually do this little um, number justice. I don't have an example shown here, but I think you can kind of imagine that. You just have to make sure it's the right shoe. Don't do a casual flat, but a nice dressy flat. Um, I think we all need a nice flat in our life for the simple fact you never know. You might mess up your ankle. You might do anything and you still need to look cute. So get you a cute little flat. It doesn't matter what price range. Um, just as long as, you know, you cop the look. Just be funky and let your personality shine through. That's the whole point. That is like the point. You want your clothes to be a reflection of who you are, who you want to be, I should say. So if you love to look and feel beautiful, then your clothes should reflect that. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to reduce yourself, or I shouldn't say reduce yourself, but to bring yourself to somebody else's standards, okay? Create your own standards, create your own lane, and as long as you love it, that's all that matters. You don't have to worry about what other people are doing. And I know some people, are a little bit challenged when it comes to actually piecing outfits together, that's okay too. You can pull inspiration from other people. The point is, is if that outfit makes you feel good, then that is what is important. Um, before we go, I wanna do a quick shout out to Bridget. Bridget is a Las Vegas local here, but also one of our team hotties. Hey girl, um, she ordered a bunch of stuff from the store and I was able to deliver it to her. So if you're local, we do have local delivery. Um, don't forget that. So um, that's always an option. But anyway, yeah, if you're visiting Vegas, we can have it delivered to you, your hotel, whatever it is. Just let us know. It's all in the checkout. Okay, so that's it for this look. I hope you like it. If you have any other suggestions or ideas that you want to share with our community, go ahead and post those in the comment section down below. Or if you just want to say how you like it or don't like the outfit or what you would change, put that in the comment section as well. And of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said earlier, I would love to have you a part of our sister and brotherhood and just hang out and get to know everybody. Um, I wanna remind you guys that the next video up should be the what I wore. As you see, I actually have on the bomber jacket that we just got through talking about. And, but I wanna show you how to remix it and style it with something else. So that's gonna be the next what I wore video and you'll be able to see how I changed up the whole look. Okay, um, and then I guess that's it. Oh yeah, I'm trying to go live more. So hang out for that. Make sure your notifications, the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Um, is checked. You might want to go back and check it anyway because I've had a lot of people saying, hey, I didn't get any notification that you were going live and I know that I have my notifications turned on. So just make sure your notifications are turned on so you can catch us when we go live. Lately, it's been like on Fridays around this time, um, like around five or six Pacific Standard Time. I don't know where we're going to eventually settle in to that. So if, if you have a suggestion for that, put that in the comment section below as well. All right, so that's it. I love you guys and girls so much. Thank you for all your support, for always hanging in there with me um, through the thick and thin, because I know videos from 2009, I think I had to take some of them down because I was like, woo child, woo. But it's good to grow. It's really good to grow. But thank you for being a part of that journey. And even if you are new to our Team Hot, that's good too, like welcome. We, we accept and love everybody here, okay? Um, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out the What I Wore video. Bye. I'm a dork.